All right, welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft. I'm Scribble, and I'm going to be teaching you guys just basic Minecraft stuff. We are on uh, Infinity Evolved with the Morph mod, and this is a live private server, so we are in uh, we are in regular mode, um, with survival mode. Uh, so. If you saw last episode, I built this house here, uh, and I showed you guys how to build it. And this episode is going to be a two-part episode of smelters and getting started on Tinker's Construct. Uh, the basics, at least. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've already prepped everything, so everything's ready to go. Alright, so first off, to make your smelter... You're going to need sand, you're, for each each ingot, you're going to need one th or four sand, four gravel, and a block of clay. Um, I already have everything made, because like I said, we've been on this world for a while, so I'm not going to remake it. So you take your clay, put it into a block like this, and then you want to do this configuration right here. Play at the top, sand and that weird S, and then ground, uh, gravel and a backwards L, and you get eight grout for each one. You take your grout, and then you cook it. Any furnace will do. It's a basic furnace. All you're doing is cooking it. So once this cooks, it'll give you these seared bricks, and you'll get this book right here. Almighty Smeltery. So now this is going to tell you all about smelting. What you're going to need for everything. Uh, how to do it. Materials. Different things like that. How to make everything. Which is what I have set up over here. Get rid of this. Alright, so you take your seared bricks. Put them in a four pattern. You get, or your... Yeah, seared bricks, and you get a seared brick block for every four. That's how you make that. And then these are the controllers and tools and everything you're going to need to get your smelter started. Now, this, these are just the pattern configuration, so if you guys want to pause for each one, if you don't know how to do it, uh, just pause for each one, and I, you can get the patterns. So this is going to be your controller. You need a controller. This is your drain. I always do two drains, but you only need one. But I always make two, just uh, for a reason I'll show you once, once we start building. And then you need a faucet, which is this pattern. You need one faucet per drain. Then here's your tank for your lava. It goes all the way around with a piece of glass in the middle. And then you need a table, casting table. And a basin. Which is all the parts I have here. But like I said, if you need to, just go back, uh, go back and pause the video, and you'll get all your patterns. So what you need, here's how I do mine. This, uh, that, and that. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. Oop, not there. Gotta calm down with that. Alright, that's it. I want this here like that. And I want this one here like that. Now I'm just gonna put a build block here. I'm gonna, I'll remove it later. But then you're gonna put your drain on top like that. Followed by a faucet. And then, oops, do your controller, and here's where the other faucet comes in, just like that, or the other drain, again followed by a faucet. But now, take this brick out, I 
I can put in a filler. I'll do that on the outside. That way, from the, in from the inside, it looks just like part of the house. Alright, so now with your bricks, you're going to do a 3x3 three three pattern. Oops. Thought I heard something sneaking up on me. And then you don't need these corner pieces. You can do corners if you want, but you don't need them. Then you're going to outline it. I'm only doing this because I need... Oops. Because I don't want corners on mine. Go to your 3x3. Three three. Pull up here. And then once you get to this corner, this is how I do mine. You don't have to do it exactly the same. But then you want your seared tank. So you want all your stuff. All your main controls. So your, your controller... Um, your drains all in your tank all on the same level. So now once that's done, this is actually active. I can only do three. So the higher you build it, the more stuff you can put in. And you can build it as tall as you want. So now, now I can do 12 or 18. And go again. Careful not to go inside of here, because once it's active like this, it'll actually kill you. So then it just gets bigger and bigger, so on and so on. So I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. I don't need to go, I don't think I need to go any bigger. At least not right now. So that's actually part one. Actually, I can... I can actually make this into one part. So that's all the basics to build your smelter. So now your smelter's completed. And now we'll move on to the weaponry. But okay, so now you need patterns. This is how you make a pattern. You take your two sticks and two planks doesn't matter what they are doesn't matter what tree so you get four patterns four blank patterns per one of these and this is the configuration these are the things you're going to need you're going to need a stencil table which should be a plank and a pattern you're also going to need a tool station which is a pattern and a crafting station and then you're also going to need a pattern chest which is a pattern in a chest, obviously. I actually need one of these. So I'm just going to make that one. Oh, where's the other one? Tool station. Do I not have a parts builder? Oh, there we go. Yeah, tool station. Okay. So once we have these, they'll look like this. It'll be these three tables here. So what you can do, you have your patterns, again, you just put them in here and you pick whatever you want to make. So, say I want to make a pick. Actually, what, what will this table make? Uh, yeah, it'll make a pick. Okay, so I need the axe head, a binding tool, and a handle. So we'll make our things here. Here's a handle. Careful with these handles. This one's a handle and this one's a tough rod. So the handle is the smaller one. So there we go. We need that. Need this. And then I need this. All right. Now you're gonna come over here to your part builder. And as you can see, it says material cost one, material cost 0.5, material cost 0.5. So to make one axe, uh, it's gonna cost you two blocks. So and different ones. Different ones will have different on it. Like this one's eight. That one's eight. That's one. That one's three. Eight. 
the different things are gonna have different material costs. It's one and a half. But for now, just for this example, I'm just gonna be showing you how to do this. So you put your blocks right here. You just mainly do it with um, cobblestone to build your parts. So you have that one. Then you have this one. This is trash, just the shard. And then you got this, another piece of trash. It's like that. Now you come over to your tool station, click on what you want, and you put these in the correct spots, just like that. And now you can make a pick. Now I'm actually gonna show you guys how to cast. I'm not gonna build this yet, because I wanna show you how to cast. Oh, I have one. Yes, I didn't need this. Whatever, we have two now. So I'm gonna grab some gold real quick and put it in a smelter. You wanna smelt with gold. Once you have your smelter going, it takes a lot of fuel it, so we'll just wait on these. Wait on them to cook, and they'll go into the into there. I'm actually going to put uh, all this stuff up that I don't need. That, that, that. Don't need any of this. I've already showed you that book. Uh, once you start weaponry, there's a second material. It's uh, it? uh materials in you volume two. I don't have the book. But it pretty much just gives advance. So here's the basic materials you need. Tells you how to everything I just showed you, how to build everything. Basic materials and what stuff does. And then here's Tinker's weaponry. Tells you what everything does, how you need it. Then there's a volume two, which I don't have the book for. I lost it somewhere. I'll put these patterns in here. And that's trash, so this gold done yet? Aha, okay. So whatever's on the bottom, say there's something else up, it's like gold, you have other stuff in here and gold's up here, you need to click on it and it'll move to the bottom. Whatever's on the bottom is what's gonna come out. So where am I? You get the picture. Actually, I'm gonna build it. So, uh, Try to leave it in one of these. Oh, I don't know where it went. Oh, here they are. Tough rod. Okay. So now, actually, I can show you with. I'm going to make one out of iron. Now I can actually show you how this works when you switch between the two. We'll let this go for a minute. I need a trash can. I don't have a trash can anywhere. Uh, Tinker's Construct does not destroy in lava. There we go. Uh, trash can. Uh, it does not get destroyed in lava, so if you die in lava, it just bounces around. While that, while that's actually cooking, I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so you put your your main or your material in here, whatever whatever you're making. So we're, this is how you cast, not how you create. So after you, we'll come back here to made our stuff here with our patterns. Once again, you put your pattern and, and some blocks, and you get the tool, the part at least. You take your part to your smelter, place in there like that. You want gold, so make sure it's on there. And you right click on the drain or the faucet. Give it a few seconds. There's that. You right click to pick it up. And we're going to do all of them.
Oh no, I put that. Ah, whatever. Unfortunate. <laughs> Let me go get some more gold. And then I also need. Breathing gets okay, that's enough. Once you cast these things, um, they're trash. The basic ones are. You could use stone to start with to get your material. But after after you make the gold cast, like I did, then those parts are just trash. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Fish. Again, it tells you how much material this the pickaxe head is going to cost. One, that's going to cost half. An, these are an ingot ingot measurement, so half an ingot, one ingot. All right, so here we go. We want gold. We put gold like that. Click it, and it'll be the next thing that comes out. So we have this. All right, so now for our patterns. Pattern in your hand. And then we're going to make it out of iron. So now we click iron, it comes out. That. And our tough rod. All right, so there's all that. So let's trash, uh, and this can go in here. Now we come to our tool station. Put this in here like that. Now we have an iron pickaxe. It has a mining speed of six, and it's mining level redstone. Just like that. So now, if you want to do bigger things, like if you want to do a hammer, hammer does a three by three. Um, a lumber axe, an excavator, all the basic stuff, crossbows, battle axe, uh, different swords, frying pan. Uh, you'll need to make the tool forge. And what the tool forge is, you take three seared bricks on top, just like this, and then four iron blocks, which is 36 iron ingots. Then you take a tool station, which was this one. Pattern and a crafting table. You put it in like that, and you get a tool forge. And that allows you to see the difference here. You make different you make basic tools like this. And then you get all this extra stuff with the tool forge. Same concept, you just make your patterns, match them up. So like if you want to make a hammer, it takes two of these heads. Or, yeah, two of the faces, a head, and then a tough rod. So if we go to our material here, so it takes two heads, so that's 16 blocks. Then the hammer. Another eight. It's 24. And then a tough rod. Three, so 27. We need 27 blocks right here just to make the one hammer. Like that. So now, you can add different things to here, like, uh, let's do redstone. Which this will be all in the uh, materials volume 2. To so say I want to make this faster, so I put this here. And then redstone. So, in the, in the books, it'll say what materials do what. So, redstone will... Redstone will let you mine faster. So if you see, my mining speed is at 6 right now. 
That's 6.08, and I can put 50 on there. So if I grab 50, See it going up. I'm just gonna put 50 on real quick. You can make these into blocks to make it go faster. So we started with, uh, what, six? Now, that's just with one. Out. So we're at 50. We use one modifier, so we have a mining speed of 10 now. We have two modifiers remaining, so say we want... This has a 324 durability, so say we want more durability. Uh, we put a diamond on there. Or quartz. I think it's quartz. Uh, so now I can mine obsidian. So see, I can mine up to redstone. So now, if I put a diamond on here, I can mine up to obsidian. You only need one. So is that, and then this is durability. Yeah, so that brought the durability up almost a little more than triple, and then this will make it even better. Yep. Like I said, all this stuff is in the books. And you just read that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Or if you want to tell me that I'm bad at tinkers, then let me know. So I will see you guys next time.